these are the three types of belay device that I use all the time. And these three general types of device seem to be the ones most commonly in use. The first and simplest style is called a tube style belay device. It is simply a metal tube that you run a bite of rope through, clip a carabiner to it, and you can use it for belaying or repelling. You only need one slot for belaying, but you really need both slots generally for repelling because when you're repelling, you generally have your rope running through some kind of repel anchor and you need to be able to put both strands through the device. So you do see devices that are made with just one slot, but that's not gonna be super useful when you go to repel. The next style is a little bit more complex. This is referred to as a plate or sometimes as a guide plate. It is a tube style device with an added feature, which is a point at the back that can be clipped directly to your anchor. So you can use this just like a regular tube style device for belaying off your harness or repelling. You can also clip it directly to the anchor, run a bite of rope through a slot or two bites of rope through both slots, clip the carabiner through the bites, and now you can belay directly off the anchor at the top one or two followers at once in guide mode. The third and most complex style of device is an assisted braking device. And there are several manufacturers making these. This isn't a hands-free device per se. It is assisted braking, but you should keep a hand on the brakes. However, it does have the ability to lock on the rope for you. You could get away with taking your hand off the brakes and it might catch a fall but that is not in accordance with the manufacturer's specifications. It might save your butt, but don't plan on it. Keep your hand on the brakes. Another nice thing about this device is the rope makes less of a sharp bend as it runs through the device. So when I'm belaying, there's not as much drag thanks to that wider bend. And I do a lot of belaying. It starts to hurt my elbows. This saves my elbows a little bit. You can clip this device directly to an anchor and belay off the anchor just like you would with the uh, guide plate. But of course, with this device, you can only belay one person at a time. You can only feed one strand of rope through here. Also, this is not as useful for repelling. For that same reason, you can only put one strand of rope through here. If you fix a rope and you're repelling on a single line, yeah, you can repel on this assisted braking device. But typically, when repelling, you need to be able to put both strands of the rope through the device.